guys welcome back i have this snowflake mold from mold and shapes and i'm putting um, silver leaf into those big um yeah snowflake leaves i don't know how to say this um but as you can see um it's not so easy so I have to make sure that I clean this up very, very carefully later so that my flakes are really definite and um, that I'm not messing too much. It's not so easy. Actually, this idea, there was this um, Ying and Yang mold and Petra Youngblood, she has done similar with golden flakes and I thought with the snowflake mold it might, might be a good idea, might look nice. So these are my last two big ones I'm doing. This is now really the last one here get a little bit of this flake see it's also always sticking somewhere it's not so easy <laughs> um, and i have these makeup um, sponges it's now in the corner here well i need to get it out and and really um clean What's this and where do i get another loose one maybe that one Pushing them in and also down here. And then cleaning up the leftovers with some alcohol and um, my how do you call them q-tips <laughs> but this i do separately um i guess i don't need to show you how i clean the mold this will be far too boring so I'll just close this everything is flying away <laughs> And yeah, I start to clean up my mold and I see you back when I continue. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So, well, I was not 100% successful in cleaning my mold. It's not so easy. The flakes are just everywhere. Um, oh, yeah. now my my glove um, burst i guess it will be all right oh no let me just get a new one nowadays they they're really thin and they burst very easily um second one what I want to do, and I hope it will turn out nicely, I want to um, sort of paint the inside of the um, flakes, snowflakes, in this gorgeous uh, grey blue. So and maybe put little spots 
Ach, das Sparkle. Ähm, into it as well. Or, or just a little bit of sparkle. I, I have no idea yet. <laughs> it will come as I'm doing it. My resin is um, the normal art pro from Resin Pro, which I really like a lot. Um, yeah, we just get a little bit like so in here. I think this is an awesome color for a snowflake. I need to get some more paper towel. Um, so I'm not making a mess. One, my water aside. And let's go. Look at this awesome color. Just put a little bit in the center and what I do, I use a Q-tip uh, and a little bit of baby wipe. So here just so that I have my sort of snowflake I do it with one and then I stop the video because I think um, you don't want to see me doing this with the whole four coasters it's just for you to have an idea what I'm doing. And it's just a very thin layer because I want to um, put a different color um, on top. Maybe a darker blue. One. And do with a little bit more. Don't want to put too much already in there, so I can just spread it out. Like so, and also here. Yeah, I need some more. So this is basically basically what I'm doing. 
or so was the other four. And then I will um, later put some of the white sparkle in those smaller dots. Really hope I will achieve a nice effect. Okay, I stopped the video. I paint the others and I'm going to come back to you. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm back. You see, I um, put resin, um, the snowflake, and now um, I've already done this with three of them. I put dots into of um, sparkling white. Um, it's actually here. From Petra Youngblood, awesome. It's awesome sparkle. I adore it. I actually put this into those little dots and I hope that a little bit of sparkle will be seen. I'm already regretting a little bit that I put the silver there because I think maybe with the sparkle it would have been a little bit nicer but I will see you never know sometimes you are getting really surprised I just don't know yet in what color I should do my top coat if I go for a dark blue With a little bit of sparkle also well um, as you can see I oh there's something in there I should not do it like this yeah, but I got it um, I also did this little key ring and now do I have everywhere sparkle uh, yes um, yeah, I'll take you down for a close up and then um, I see you guys tomorrow again for my um, top coat. So I'm really, really, really very curious how this will turn out. But look at look at the color. Look at the detail the resin is doing. Um, I may have to catch up. Hang on a little bit. Um, can you see? Uh, here, just a little bit. And also here, up there. I'm sorry if it's now a little bit blurred. But yeah, I leave it. Anyway, um, I'm really curious how they will turn out. But I love this, this nice color, this blue. This is from Colorberry. And I think I will maybe um, put a dark blue with sparkle on top or a teal color. I really have to see. Okay, I love and leave you for now and see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back everyone. So I decided um, on my top layer. Um, let me just get my gloves on. I will use the sparkle white together with the sort of, um, how is it called actually? Holographic, but what's the color? Glitter mint green. I think this will maybe look very good. It's a fine um, holographic glitter from Rico. 
because the German company. And yeah, let's get started. I don't need my scale. Let me just get some paper towel. And there you go. Um, yeah, I guess I have to mix in two steps. Let me just fill it halfway and get some of the sparkle white in here. I adore this. I guess I go with this much. And let's get it mixed up first. See, it's really, really very sparkly. I, I like this color a lot. This is, um, like I said yesterday, the one from Petra Jonglot. Very, very nice. And I go with a little bit of glitter in there. I was doubting what colors to use with the glitter, but I'm one, you know, I don't like so much um, too extreme colors and I think this will match very, very nicely with each other. Look at this. Should I go with more? Mm -hmm. No, I guess not. I also don't want the glitter to overtake too, too much. Give it a good stir. And let's start pouring, huh? Guess I have to make up more anyway, so let me just fill them up. I mix 250 grams of resin in total. So uh, get some baby wipe and I hope this will be all right. I think this is matching perfectly with the color here. a little bit like so and yeah like I said I need to mix up more resin more color anyway so really hope I have enough <laughs> If not, I need to mix some extra and do the um, extra bit. But I recently always had too, too much. Um, just clean this. Too, too much resin. And this time I didn't want to mix up too much. So this is fine. Some glitter. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's not too extreme and you see the green and the blue. And also my resin is doming in the mold, which is also very, very nice. So, can use the rest. Yeah, clean this up and the next one, really, really like these colors. 
nice, very, very nice. Um, today I'm actually very, very nervous because our old cat, really, he has not shown up yet and we don't know where he is. Normally he is here every morning. He's outside all the time, normally at night, but he didn't show his face so far, which, well, concerns me. Mm -hmm. I doubt I mix up enough resin. When I go with this, what's left? And well, maybe, maybe it will be enough. Yesterday for like color paint my, my mold, I had too much and now I'm a little bit in struggle if I have enough. I really thought 250 grams because they not seem to be too big. Would be all right. Well, we will see. Um, yeah, let me get another stick for my zipper or for my flakes. Uh, sparkle. And I go like like so mix this up and put the glitter in there yeah i really really love this look at this Very, very pretty. And on top. Yeah, it, it will be fine. It's enough. I'm glad. <laughs> I was already, already worried. A little bit still in here. Eensy bit in there. Can I have a little bit more? Yes, I have. I have enough. Who? Happy. Look at this sparkle here. A little bit more here. And look, it's almost nothing left. So. Um, okay, um, I didn't consider the um, keychain ring, which I've already done, but with 250 grams of resin, you are completely fine here. Let me get my torch and let's get rid of the air bubbles. Yeah, with the torch, you always have to be very carefully that you are not burning your mold. Just keep moving, not too close. So this seems to be a little bit darker than the others, but I guess this will be fine. Okay, I guess I do not need to get you down for a close-up because it's only the sparkle and I guess I keep on needing to torch to get rid of all the bubbles and I'm really curious how they will turn out. But see you then tomorrow for the unmolding. Bye bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I did something very silly yesterday. I moved um, 
my coaster mode and look i on those two places i overflowed it because um, my table where i rested it was not 100 percent level so well um i should have waited a little bit longer but i think i can trim this off anyway i'm very very curious how they turned out so let's start unmolding first time i'm using this mold with the um, snowflake and see there's hardly anything left in so let me first get them out out because i'm i'm really curious myself how um, they turned out um. <laughs> so and this one yeah i'm i'm very annoyed with myself that this happened but I need to trim this off. It's quite, quite, quite a big. Oh, probably now you, you've seen it. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to see. I have this machine, so I need to do it very carefully. Also here. And my little my little um, keychain ring. So let me put the mold away. And let's start with the key ring. Wow, look, look at this little snowflake. It's beautiful. And I can only see very very tiny um, holes really like this there's a little bit um, the sparkle in the center this is really pretty okay um, where do I start I start with the ones that didn't overflow so look at this nice um, yeah very very nice i like it very very much how um how can i say this um you can see that i use the um, normal clear here a little bit glitter okay went there on top but um, you can see the silver and you can see that this is mainly done without glitter and around you see the shiny glitter and only a hint of glitter here yeah, from the back side. Beautiful. Really happy with these. Um, guess this is the same. Wow. I like them. Um, this is supposed to be less overfloating. But here I have also now a, 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 yeah, an edge. It's a pity. These are, look at this, wonderful. Really, really like them. Very, very beautiful. This one actually is a little bit darker. I guess here I put a little bit more um, glitter into my resin. And yeah, look. This is really thick, <laughs> but also here. I'm sure when I trim this off, it, it will be okay. So just let me do it and I'll be back very soon with a nice picture of them all. Love and leave you for now and see you for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.